we're just going to get straight to the point here. If you do not get past your addictions to instant gratification and quick hits of dopamine from social media, garbage food, sugary drinks, video games, bad websites, whatever it is, if you cannot get past this, you will never achieve what you want to achieve. Very simply, if you are trying to do something difficult, if you are trying to get something productive done, and at the same time, you are also frying your dopamine receptors every chance you get, the difficult thing that you are trying to do is simply not going to be rewarding enough. Why would you delay gratification and do something that'll take a while to pay off when you could just play video games or scroll TikTok? Here's a question. Have you ever eaten a piece of good fresh fruit after eating like a handful of candy or cake or something. The fruit should be very tasty and enjoyable, but after all the candy, it just doesn't taste right. It almost tastes bad compared to the hyper sweet candy you just flooded your system with. Point being, if you are frying your dopamine receptors every single day, playing hours of video games or spending hours scrolling social media or watching Netflix, how exactly do you expect yourself to do something that won't give you a hard hit of dopamine every 10 seconds? If you can't get anything done, this is why. If you spend all your free time destroying your brain with drugs and overstimulation, and then when you can finally convince yourself to sit down and work on something that you've been meaning to get to, or finally get yourself to the gym, and then you wonder why it's not any fun, it's because of this. It's because the natural dopamine rewards your brain gives you for completing these tasks that are good for you, like reading a book or going to the gym, those chemical reward hits are nothing compared to the constant overstimulation from these artificial sources. This is usually where the cope comes in. Working out, it's just too hard, and it's not even that fun anyways. Reading? Reading's boring. Why would I read when I could just watch the movie? Make an effort to talk to a girl in real life and have a real relationship? Why waste the time and the effort when a bad website is only a click away? If you embrace this lifestyle, you will not just be weak but feeble and frail. Embrace this lifestyle and you will be an inarticulate brainlet who cannot think for themselves. Embrace this lifestyle and you will never learn how to actually talk to anyone. And nor should you, because you're weird and creepy and no one really wants to talk to you. What makes this general dopamine addiction, in my opinion, significantly worse than a traditional addiction is its ability to change form and become whatever you give it. It's commonly understood that you never really get rid of an addiction, it simply changes forms. When you kick a bad habit, you have a void that you need to fill, and if you don't fill that with a good habit, it's just going to get filled by another bad habit. For example, if you had a bad habit of watching bad websites right before bed or mindlessly scrolling social media first thing in the morning and you get rid of that habit, you now have a void that you need to put something else in. Maybe working out first thing in the morning or reading right before bed. The tricky part with a fried dopaminergic system is that it will grab onto anything it can. And you gotta be extra careful not to just change the food you're feeding it and instead starve it all together. This is where we run into the idea of a dopamine fast, which is a term I imagine you've heard before. It's basically a strategy for getting over various dopamine addictions. Now you can look around online and find various strategies and methods of approaching this, but in my experience, the only thing that actually worked for me was cold turkey. Even this year, I've run into some problems myself because I had Left 4 Dead 3 downloaded on my computer, the computer I do all the work for this channel on. And the appeal is obvious, I'm the only one that has this otherwise unreleased game, but point being, any time that I would hit a sticking point or the creative energies weren't flowing, losing two or three hours of time was only a click away. In my professional opinion, if you are having issues with a tech-based dopamine addiction, you gotta delete the apps. You gotta delete the games. It's way easier to impulsively open a game when it's right there on your desktop than it is to impulsively go to the website, download the launcher, and then wait for the game itself to download. So I don't keep games downloaded on my computer. That's just asking for trouble. If there are games and apps that are stealing your time, delete them entirely. If there are apps that are causing you to lust, delete them. If there's food you want to stop eating, stop buying it. If it's a fast food joint, you always pass.
Change your route. Don't pass it anymore. Another strategy I've implemented recently to help with screen time on my phone is if you go to color filters in your phone settings, you can turn on grayscale, which besides making it harder to scan through your camera roll to find cursed images to send to your friends, really this has no effect on your ability to properly use your phone, but it does make it significantly less enjoyable to use, which is a good thing because the images on your phone are now a soft neutral gray instead of the cataracts inducing oversaturated attention destroying nonsense it usually is. This is the new winning strategy. All my pals and gals got their phones on grayscale. Some flashy mobile game ad tries to steal your attention, not gonna happen. Some e-girl siren tries to send you provocative images, Sorry, sweetheart, I'm colorblind and you don't look good in gray. All my boys are colorblind. It's a movement and I promise, do it for a couple days and then turn the color back on just to see what it looks like. And I promise it's gonna be so bright and ugly and stupid that you're gonna wanna immediately go back. In conclusion, if there's something that you want yourself to do, but you're telling yourself that you just don't have the time or you simply cannot muster the motivation to do it and simultaneously you find yourself lost in modern pleasures or racking up screen time, you are addicted to the dopamine. And guess what? If you're watching this video, then you have the time. If you have the free time to watch YouTube, then you have the time to do the thing. And yeah, I like it when people watch my videos, but if watching my videos is a waste of time for you, then I would rather you not because your time is precious, which is why I always try to keep things to the point. On that note, Final point, when you finally stop overstimulating and destroying your dopamine receptors, all of the hard things feel easier and more rewarding. Trust me, those who abstain from the traps of modern vice shall inherit the earth. And I've decided that I'm gonna make it. So either come with me or don't. And make sure to send this video to a friend who needs to see it. Poison your brain with dopamine. Can't stop staring at the screen. Bright lights in your head dulled by the scene the Pixels vibrating relentlessly Alright, that's enough. Get out.